Hi, welcome back to Bazaar Morning Call. As promised, we now invite the management of Cochin Shipyard to discuss an order that they bagged. They won a contract for the construction of two autonomous electric vessels for Ask Maritime of Norway. To find out more, we have Madhu S. Nair, the Chairman and Managing Director of Cochin Shipyard, who joins in. Uh, Mr. Nair, thanks so much for being with us. If you can just start by telling us about this contract itself, what does it mean for the company in terms of revenues? When does this uh, get executed? Uh, so there's a, there's a project for uh, two autonomous uh, electric vessels uh, with an uh, option for two more. Uh, see, it's a very significant win for Cochin Shipyard in the fact that these are probably going to be the first autonomous vessels in the world. So it's, it's, a, it's a very high-level uh, contract. See, from an order uh, contractual amount point of view, the two vessels are about 125 crores. So uh, when the options also hopefully get declared, this is a potential 250 crores. But most significantly, uh, in, this, in this bad period, when things are going uh, not so well, it's a, it's a very important win for Cochin Shipyard. Uh, this order has come from a company called Asco Maritime, which is uh, part of the Nagas Group in uh, Norway. And the most interesting fact is that some of the uh, best-in-class uh, companies uh, in, the, in the field uh, involved here. This entire effort is uh, backed up also by the government of Norway who are part funding this uh, project because uh, of its uh, totally green uh, initiative. And uh, top companies like the Willemsen Group in Norway and the Kongsberg Maritime are involved in the uh, technology and the operation side. So all in all, uh, for the country, for Cochin Shipyard, I would say this is, a, this is an absolutely significant event because these are fully autonomous vessels. I mean, absolutely autonomous when they, when they actually finally start operating in Norway after due legislations. Uh, we will deliver this vessel from uh, Cochin as a full electric vessel, duly tested and commissioned. And once in Norway, they will initially for a year and a half, they will do a semi-automatic uh, run. And after that, they'll take out the entire manpower from the vessel. So these would be the first autonomous vessels to hit the water anywhere in the world. So that way, it's very, very significant. Okay. Uh, that point is taken, Mr. Nair. Now, if we can concentrate on uh, things uh, beyond this Norwegian order, mm -hmm. uh, how many ships do you expect to complete in the current year? I'm just trying to guess what is your best revenue yeah. estimates. Yeah. Uh, see, we are, uh, the, there are a few vessels uh, getting close to delivery. In fact, uh, during the COVID lockdown period, uh, just, just to confirm that uh, we, are, we are back in operations uh, over the last uh, two months, uh, mm -hmm. gradually ramping up. And as we are speaking, I'm, I'm almost at 90% uh, operational levels in my main yards in Cochin and Mumbai. So um, uh, vessels are, mm -hmm. are getting into delivery mode. So in the, in the next uh, couple of months, we'll have two large uh, vessels getting delivered. And uh, there are there a set of uh, smaller vessels we are building for the state government of uh, Kerala that will also get delivered. We are uh, in, uh, you are you're probably aware that we are also building a series of 23 uh, boats. These are small boats uh, for the Cochin Water Metro. Again, a very significant order from the point that these are, again, electric hybrid vessels. Again, uh, the largest order in the world at this stage, 23 boats together. So there are, there are going to be quite some deliveries as we come uh, into, into this year. You know, like uh, this quarter, next quarter, we'll have quite some deliveries coming up. And uh, if, you, if you're looking at the figures point of view, while uh, Q1, we have struggled, I should say Q1 has been more or less uh, two months we are lost in Q1. But uh, our overall target is uh, trying to meet the figures we have in the last uh, financial year. So what we have in uh, FY20, we are trying to see that we don't go below this figure in FY21. Uh, on a more general basis, uh, would you say yeah. that you will be able to, you know, FY20 you posted about uh, almost 20% EBITDA growth, about 15% revenue okay. growth. Your margins okay. were much higher at about 27%. Uh, if you have yeah. to look out into two, three years, is that maintainable? I'm asking you because global trade is not very kind at this point in time. We are seeing right, actually right. global trade itself getting into a depression mode, uh, into serious yeah. recession mode at least, if not depression. So I'm asking you, is this 15% revenue, 20% EBITDA, 25% margins, all these are sustainable? Uh, see, uh, we, we are coming from a mixed uh, business, you know, because it's not just coming from the global trade. There uh -huh. are a couple of things here. We have, we have 
a significant defense on both our ship building and ship repair. Ship repair is doing very well because of uh, recent uh, ships probably may not prefer to go to China for various obvious reasons. Ship repair, repair we are seeing a significant traction. Non ship building, you can see this uh, order coming from Norway. There are the others also talking because uh, what what could be the positive emerging out of this is there is added impetus on the on on the technology transformation. Technology is worth changing from an environment point of view, from autonomy point of view, and we are seeing this added uh, impetus. And uh, I should say that we are also seeing strong liking for a company like Cochin Shipyard in India because uh, again again to use a China factor. At least my European friends are probably not, not extremely happy going to some of the yards they used to go earlier. So all in all, as we move forward, EBITDA margins, as I've been always saying, what you're seeing today, plus minus, uh, I should say minus about two percentage levels, look sustainable over the next two to three years. Because of the, because of the mixed business we are having, ship repair, ship building, the new technology areas and the defense and the commercial markets. I didn't get the order book number. I don't know if I missed that. So currently order book stands at somewhere around 14,000 crores. What is the visibility that you have in terms of orders? Right, right now, as you said, it's about 14,000 crores. Uh, there's uh, quite some orders we have bidded for, especially mm -hmm. towards the uh, Navy and the Coast Guard. We are hoping that we should be able to uh, get a few of this, but uh, I'm not in a position to hazard a guess, but then the pipeline of uh, bids we have submitted is uh, significant. It's, it's upwards of 10,000 crores. So uh, we, we expect to get a few of these orders our way. Question more from personal interest. This water metro is only yeah. for connecting islands of Cochin. <laughs> Or will it also go to the backwaters, you know, the uh, uh, Alipi uh, Kumaragam uh, backwaters? No, it's, it, it's not getting into the Alipi Kumaragam. Uh, oh. It's in the backwaters of Cochin, Cochin. and the islands. But, but see, there's a very important uh, initiative. See, okay. uh, you know, like Cochin, uh, mid-sized city getting the metro. And this water metro concept <coughs> is, a, is, a, is a string of uh, high-end jetties okay. and boats and okay. today the initial order is 23 boats but there's another 50 to come yes so it's 73 boats again funded by the kfw bank of uh, okay. germany because of the green efforts but this is a model which can actually be transplanted into some other cities also especially east and west of mumbai i should say so there are there are there are, there are uh, parallels that could come in and this is seamless connect across various modes you know across the rail, road and uh, water. So significant initiative in uh, uh, coming up in Cochin. And, and these boats are not, not the normal uh, run-of-the-mill boats. These are high-grade European quality. I, I can, I can uh, show you this after, after some time, but then uh, these would, some of, the, some of the best metro coaches in the world, the interiors would look like that. And, and the finish of the boats are truly international levels. At length, uh, at some point in time, in a special show, sir. Yep, at the moment, yep. we are concentrating on investors. But it was a pleasure yep. speaking with you. Thank you very much, Mr. Nair. Thank I have you. personally yeah. used uh, uh, the more, uh, you know, ordinary-looking boat service from uh, Kumarakam to I Alapra. Yeah. I have uh, lived I, at yeah. Bolgati, and I've used the hovercraft <laughs> yeah. in Mumbai also. So I'm very much okay. a water carrier user. Thank you very much, uh, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Nair. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, well, that was a very pleasant uh, chat, but with that, we get to things uh, money. And now we're going to talk money with respect to commodities. What are the trades at 10, Manisha? Lata, thank you for that. Well, uh, you know, the, the